Hello everyone, Calvin Eter here and today I want to talk about the biggest differences between MFL and FM or Football Manager. So the Metaverse Football League and Football Manager, they're both two uh, football management games and I think a lot of people who like MFL have also played FM and some people who play FM might be interested to play MFL. So in this video I'd like to talk about maybe the seven big uh, differences between them and go over each aspect. Of course, there's way more, but I think this is like broadly speaking, the uh, biggest differences between them. So as I said, let's talk about difference number one, gameplay. Um, of course, they're both football management games. So it's important to also compare uh, the game itself. So in terms of gameplay, of course, football manager is way more developed it's way more ahead and that's no surprise because they have over 20 years of experience building a football management game um, if we go uh, let's say to the game right now and what it looks like so for example i'll go to my uh, black cfc team and i see uh, we can play matches we have league tables we're playing in league and i think most people really love about fm is the detail of the tactics and the training and the scouting etc so of course in mfl those things we don't have yet we have some team instructions some some tactics right here some set piece takers um but yeah of course it's still in development so important to remember mfl is still in development but they take fm as an example and would like to add such levels of detail later to make it as good as it is and of course the matches right now we also don't have the same 3d simulations or 2d simulations um, but more let's say a basic uh, simulation of the game they're also going to work on that so let's click on this random match right here and you can see um, it's the right starting very good uh, timing so yeah, of course, it's now uh, with this dot moving along the field, you can see some stats. So it's, let's say, a very, uh, right now, basic version um, of a football management game. Um, and it tries to become like football manager. So let's talk about difference number two, which is the metaverse. So football manager, you all know the game. It's you want to manage probably your favorite team. So if you're a big fan of, um, for example, Let's say Real Madrid, you love to become the manager of Real Madrid, win uh, league titles with them, beat Barcelona, etc. Um, MFL, as the name says, is set in the metaverse. So apart from MFL, no one has heard about those two teams, Guangzhou Academy and MRC uh, Vigo Unido. No one has named, uh, heard about that because this is the metaverse. All clubs are created by people. They are new um all the players are also let's say uh, created they don't really exist and they only exist in this metaverse so instead of becoming a manager uh, in a football manager in the real um let's say in the real football world of course you can also play with creating your own clubs etc but most people play it with players and clubs that we know from the real football world mfl is totally different universe it's a metaverse of clubs and players that are unique to the game um, this also brings me to point number three difference number three is that all clubs are managed by real people real managers in this metaverse so you can see right now all the matches going on the bronze league is playing right now so i can click on another uh, game so we have mercedes city mfc jeddah mfc all those teams are managed by real people. So we have Big Wilbert as the manager and here Vogel is the manager. We can also click on their uh, wallet. So let's click, for example, on Vogel's profile. You can see all his clubs and all his players. So these are all real people. Of course, most people play FM um, a single player and they play only against computers. So against uh, the AI, let's say. Um, in NFL, all matches you play are against real managers. So this makes it really exciting and fun. You're always playing against other people. It's, let's say, one massive multiplayer game. So I think that is really cool. Difference number four is real economy. So we have real managers, but also a real economy. 
So let's go to the marketplace, for example, and you can see that all the players here, they're all for sale. You can buy those players. So in MFL, you really own all the players and you really own all the clubs. They're all NFTs and they're all in your wallet. So let's check out my HQ, for example, my profile. So here you can see uh, all the players um, I own. Beautiful uh, overview. So I really own them in my uh, Dapper wallet. Also the clubs I created from a license are in my uh, Dapper uh, wallet. So all those clubs are also NFTs I own and with those NFTs I can play the game. So I really own them. I really had to buy these things and I can also sell them again for real money. Here you can see my uh, wallet address, my Dapper wallet address. Um, so in this wallet, I own all those things, all those NFTs. So of course, this is a big difference with FM because you just use the yeah the in-game uh, created, let's say, data. It, it doesn't really matter. You cannot sell it or buy it. It's just you're playing the game. But here, let's say the marketplace, and we can see maybe activity, latest sales. This is a real economy. People are buying things or uh, selling things. For example, here, last transfer, Ludwig sold for $27, a 70 uh, rated left back. Or Sutherland here, $30, 70 rated, 72 rated center back. So this is, of course, a huge difference. It makes it also exciting. And for some people, it's also why they maybe are hesitant to join because yeah, it really might cost a lot to buy all those players. Luckily, if you go to scouting, you can also see free agents who you can sign. So all those players, uh, you could sign with a contract and you only play um, MFL points. And with those MFL points later, we can go to the store page. It's closed right now, the store page, but later you can spend those points uh, to buy new guys. And with those guys, you can also sell again for real money. So it's re uh, connected to the real economy which makes it really exciting and fun. Let's talk about difference number five is real time. Everyone who has played FM knows there is this button and you click continue and you can go really fast if you're a manager who doesn't like to pay too much attention to training, scouting, you just go next, next, next. The next match arrives, you change your lineup, you click continue, continue, and you go to the next day. So you can really speed up time, speed up time or play it really slowly you can play it on your own pace and matches. Yeah. It doesn't relate to the real date. Of course, with all the real managers in MFL, the massive multiplayer game all the time is real time. So if I go to my HQ schedule, you can see when all my players and all my clubs are uh, playing. For example, here right now, one guy I own Leo Del Valle is playing a match in the bronze league. Later, my own team, Caviar Sintra, will play. So this is all scheduled. Every day you play a couple of matches that are pre-scheduled. So this all happens in real time. Everyone plays at the same moments, the same times, and you can go faster or continue. So that's another big difference, which leads me to difference number six, is that it's an eternal save. So with MFL, sometimes... Uh, I mean, with Football Manager, uh, sometimes you play four seasons, five seasons with one team. Maybe you had enough, maybe you want to do another start with another team. Um, you stop the save, you start a new save. Or maybe you play 50 years and then you try a new challenge with another club. So you have different saves and maybe the other year you also buy the new game. With MFL, it is one big eternal save. So... If MFL keeps existing, I believe in the project, I think it will. With all those teams, if I keep owning them, I will be able to play Metaverse football forever. And those clubs, yeah, I will own forever, keep playing them forever. And the save never stops, the game never stops. Maybe they promote, they relegate, they have great successes. Uh, maybe they have also great, uh, let's say, dark times in their club history. It's all possible in this massive safe. This also leads me to point number seven is that you can really build up a legacy. So because it's such an eternal safe with those teams, so let's click on another one, Korsakov, a team I really like. So Korsakov is now in the iron division. Maybe I will keep 
uh, building uh, this team, adding very good players. In the future, they might promote it to bronze, silver, gold, platinum, maybe even end up in diamond. And they can build up really a legacy as one of the best teams in the metaverse in MFL. That is all possible. I also will hype them on Twitter, build a Twitter account, maybe like a real fan base around it. So with those metaverse clubs, you can really build a legacy for yourself as to say the owner and the manager of one of the best metaverse clubs in game. So hopefully this uh, was a good video, helped you to uh, understand a little bit more the differences between football manager and metaverse football league. So of course, in terms of gameplay, football manager is far superior, but I think the real fun thing about MFL is that it's only other real managers from all over the world. You really own all your uh, players and clubs. You can keep playing the game forever as an eternal save and you really build up a legacy. So I think all those elements combined make it a really interesting project to explore more. And hopefully in the future, they'll catch up with, to have similar gameplay as full manager. And then it will be, in my opinion, a big hit. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.